good morning from Dubai! We are Growing Up Without Borders, a family of five traveling to every country in the world. It all began with a five-week trip to Europe back in 2013, which then led to us traveling to now six continents and 100 plus countries and counting. Are you ready to join the journey? Let's go. is only a fifth of the size of the Dubai mall if you can imagine and then they're apparently making an even bigger mall um, that's three times the size of the Dubai mall yeah so it's gonna be just massive the construction here is crazy I can't believe there's an actual ski slope inside of a shopping mall who would have thought of that are packed here because this is Black Friday so there's people everywhere <laughs> and it's just so much fun to see everyone shopping 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 we ended up going on a little tour of the shopping mall and ended up in an arcade let the girls uh, play some games there's some VR games there and such and uh, then we decided to head out crazy about all of this is it's midnight and there's still people out everywhere shopping so normally the stores I don't think stay open this late I think it's because it's Black Friday oh. so guys this behind us here is their movie theater and it looks ginormous we closed up the shop well we closed up the mall but look at what happened to us the train stations are like the metro's closed down hopefully there's taxis <laughs> We're not sure how we're getting home yet. That's why the lady out. was coming back towards the mall with all those shopping bags. It's personnel only. I think that looks like you, Chloe. <laughs> you don't know how to get out of a shopping mall. You just go where everyone else is going, like the workers. I guess this is how we're exiting. <laughs> what are you doing in the elevator here? Going up. They're going to put you guys to work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're in here with everyone now. Oh, this is good. Eventually we'll get into this elevator. Yeah. 
up and down. I think we're out here soon. <laughs> this is the way to go, we think. How do we go? Oh, the zone. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Hello. We don't know which way to go, honestly. Can we go this way? I think we can go this way, you guys. Here. Girls? Ah, uh, here, it's the next way, here, too. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> and we made it go to the shopping mall. Oh, we did it! Now to find a taxi. Okay, that's how normal people get out. Yes, those doors are still active and open. It's just three times the amount of fun when you just do what all the workers do. The security guard on the way out was really looking at us like, what are you guys doing like, here? <laughs> here we go. And we resorted to taking a taxi home. We decided to go back to the Dubai Mall and this time we discovered more of the traditional souk area where you can buy a lot of the local materials like beautiful rugs and you wouldn't believe it, we even discovered that they make chocolate out of camel milk. I don't want to try it. It's chocolate. It tastes like normal chocolate. Is it good? This is camel milk dark chocolate. Can I try the dark one? Mm. Does it taste good? Mm -hmm. Can I try it? This looks like it tastes like normal chocolate. The milk doesn't really change the taste of it, does it? Really good. found in 2008 in Wyoming, USA. That's not too long ago. There's this whole massive, huge aquarium inside the mall and we did a whole tour of it. So make sure you continue watching in our next video and we'll take you on a full tour. Far, this trip to Dubai has been shopping malls and metros and shopping malls but today we are going to go and show you some of the more local and hopefully authentic Dubai which is their bazaar. Dubai yeah the bazaar so to get there we are taking the metro you can buy these rechargeable passes and the metro is very affordable only about one to two dollars per trip you guys ready So this is a whole different area. So the first thing we noticed is that there's no skyscrapers here and I think this is their old town. So one of the things we noticed as well is, for example, here is a man's hair salon. Pricing to get your hair cut here is only $5 and where we are is a lot higher. And guess what? Your shoes! <laughs> Our first stop was for Mango Lassies. Here's something that's really interesting about Dubai is back in 1970, there was only about 50,000 people that lived here. And I'm assuming this is what it would have been like before all the massive high rises and everything that you see nowadays. I feel like we're about to walk into Aladdin. Into Aladdin? Into Aladdin world? I feel like it's Aladdin because he jumps up on the roofs and like there's things like that. So glad they have this whole area to discover because after seeing high rises and shopping malls and buildings it's nice to just discover what would have been their old town and all the little streets here and there so in this old town you're going to discover all different types of museums and different traditional shops and boutiques with some of their um, traditional gifts and souvenirs 
and we are working our way towards the market. Here's the remnants of their old city wall. Not a very big one. So that old city wall dates back only to the 1800s, so really not that long ago. Oh wow, they have a camel. Oh my gosh, look at it, it's a baby camel. This is Puma. to a whole new part of the city. It's totally different than where we're staying right now. Look at this naughty cat. He's after all the birds here. What's he gonna do? What are they saying to the girls as they walk by? To both of you? No, to Julia. Well, what are they saying? Barbie and Shakira. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Shakira. Hi, Barbie. He's showing the girls how he's making his camels in his bottles. Yes. All with natural sand and colored sand. So he yes. picks it up. My name is Alex. 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 Nice to meet you, Alex. Nice to meet you, Canada. Mm -hmm. The first leg. Second leg. Oh, that's cool. Third, fourth. Wow. Stomach. Watch now how I finish wow. it now. It's a real artist. So we were all starving and we decided to come to this traditional um, place here down close to the market. Well, here, a chicken biryani is like 15, which is about four US dollars is definitely way more reasonable than you have in the downtown, which is understandable where the, local, where the locals go. We got vegetable curry, some uh, vegetable fried rice, and some chicken curry. Can't wait to hear about uh, spicy, which is like, How's it? Well, I just tried something extremely spicy. So my mouth's on fire, but... <coughs> oh, hold on. The rest is um, kind of normal. Normal spicy. It's so hot. It's so hot. It's I know. I just tried this. It just comes with the um, fried rice. I'm not sure what it is, but it is so spicy. My mouth's on fire. How's the chicken curry? Chicken curry is delicious. Just right. So yummy. So when you leave the restaurant, you get little cumin seeds to chew on. I have a friend who does this, and I guess it gives you good breath. It tastes like black licorice, and I'm not sure if you're supposed to just eat the whole seed, but I think so. Wow, you guys, just to give you pricing ideas, so we had like two lassies, uh, three teas, chicken uh, curry, vegetable, vegetable curry, a uh, bunch of chapatis, like six of them. And then we had Jeez. two uh, fried rices, and all of that came to under 20 US dollars. So, wow. yeah. So, this whole area is their textile area. And from what we see, every store offers clothing. Uh, materials like that and so I think 
that everyone here makes their own clothes or the whole city comes here to shop but it's literally like clothing store after clothing store after clothing store of beautiful fabrics and Angelique's in heaven because well this is one of the things she wants to do when she grows up and has a career of her own she wants to be a designer so <laughs> this would be like where you're gonna come to shop for your materials maybe Look at this area, so colorful and so beautiful and all these different things. Eye candy everywhere. Everywhere you look there's something cool to look at. So one thing I'm wondering is, is how all these merchants actually make it because their competition is so fierce and there's just hundreds of textile stores and then hundreds of perfume stores and I don't know how they do it. Like, Unless there's millions of people that come through here, it must be really hard. And that concludes our day at the market. Back on the train we go. So we came down to the waterfront tonight to come see their fireworks. It's the national day today here in Dubai, so we'll see what it's all about. One thing that's really surprising here is you don't see anyone walking around with puppy dogs. I just noticed that, which means you don't have to watch where you're walking like you do in some countries, right? And the other thing is that it's quite late at night, so it's like midnight right now, and everyone is still up and everything's still open. You can go to all the grocery stores, you can buy perfume along this little walkway, and uh, everything's just open late. And Julia made a good point. She said that because they can't drink here, then they all smoke these uh, shisha things. Today we're going to take you to another soup. This is soup Medina Jumeria. So inside it's a big huge shopping area with all the different stands. So a typical market from um, Dubai and then outside you've got this beautiful area with the water and river walk from what I see and loads and loads of cafes and restaurants. Has ever wondered what the most expensive hotel in the world looks like? This is it behind me. This is Burj Al Arab, and the hotel rooms get this start at only 2,000 a night. They go up to 24,000, and uh, basically it's on an, a little island. So it's like a man-made island. It was built in 1999, and only about a billion to create it. This is it. So right there is a helipad. area of town is even more traditional than where we were the last few days. We're a little bit further over, not too far, but um, people, I guess, aren't always used to seeing um, tourists here because people are taking videos of the girls. Or maybe it's just because they're so darn cute. <laughs> I don't know. Everything is pretty much open on a Friday, but here their Friday is technically like their Sunday. So as you can see, a lot of the shops are closed, but we do see some that are still open. Good luck reading this map. Can you guys figure out where we are or where we're going? 
Is the other side in a different language? Oh, that makes sense. Much better. All original. Loads and loads of bags. Just have a look, no problem. Hi, ma'am. How are you? Good. How are you? Yeah, fine, ma'am. Press it, take switch. Got loads. Inside that store that we just went into, we went inside a building, a few stairs, and then they had like this whole room full of every kind of name brand bag, belt, sunglasses, watches, um, and everything. And then what did they have, Angelique? A secret door with all the fancy stuff behind it, like the real, the or real masters they call it, masters, like the real watches, the real bags. It's pretty cool. We found the market that's open here, guys. Let's go check it out. Here is a whole other section. It looks like a lot of the jewelry and diamond watches. Girls, where are we heading to now? What are we getting ourselves into? All throughout the different souks, they had these little hidden stores where you would go up different alleyways and then up some stairways, and then boom, you'd end up in this beautiful shop with all the designer purses, sunglasses, watches, you name it. It was just unbelievable. Market everywhere. Oh, this is the utensil soup. Chloe, how was it that what you just tried? It was really good. It was an almond and then a date and then dark chocolate grounds. Mm. Really, really good. They even made camel milk gelato. I've never seen that before. And to get across the river to get to the other side, we would take these little boats. just checked out of our home exchange and uh, we left it spick and span. We spent the morning cleaning and doing laundry. That's one of the things when you do home exchange, oftentimes the people um, that are staying at your place really take care of your home and leave it just the way it was found. So that's what we did. And now we are off to our next place and I can't wait to show you guys. Thanks for watching our tour of Dubai. Please subscribe and give us a big thumbs up and don't forget to comment down below where we are watching from. We'll see you next time. Bye. Angelique's cutting her hair at we're, home. We're doing it based on a YouTube video that says to put in ponytails and cuts. We're okay, actually ready? Cut.